I did a review a few months ago of the Harbor Freight Warrior 10 inch table saw and I wanted to give you an update. Uh, I would never purchase this saw. So there are things that I didn't know that I would need to look for in the saw. This is good. This uh, We got the riving knife and the blade guard. The riving knife does not come off so if you needed to make a plate so that you had a zero clearance um you would have to take into account this riving knife so it's a great safety feature but when i went it when i went to buy a zero clearance plate i realized that my plate is not uh, shaped in an oval like most standard table saw plates are. There are some that are shaped like this, but the measurements are different. Also, the miter slots. So I went to buy a feather board so that I, the feather board would hold the wood against the rip fence as it was cutting. Well, this is not a standard miter slot so that meant that i would have to fashion something to make not only a feather board well for a feather board i would just have to cut a feather board out of wood and then clamp it to my table but i can't make a miter sled because of the non-standard table slots a good woodworker could but i'm not a good woodworker i just wanted to buy a saw that would allow me to use my equipment uh, to the best of my abilities. Also, this, what is this little baby thing? Is this a Fisher Price? Miter gauge, do not like this at all. I would prefer a miter gauge that had a longer slide on it that goes into the slot. But again, I can't go to Amazon to purchase it because this is a non-standard slot and trying to find a miter gauge that doesn't look like a toy that fits a non-standard slot has proven to be impossible. I also purchased the, um, the, the jig, the micro jig that will help me to cut fourth inch slats of wood. If you watch my first video, you will see that that's what I was trying to do. However, I still need a zero clearance blade, uh, zero clearance plate with it. And it's just not worth the time for me. Also, I don't like how the on and off switch is all the way down there. Like to turn it off, you gotta maneuver. I just, I am not a fan of this saw at all. I enjoy Harbor Freight. I have many tools from there that have worked great for me. This warrior tennis table saw is more like a fisher price table saw the only reason it's not a toy is because it's a power tool that has a blade on it outside of that it is very much a toy it cuts well but for the specific cuts that i need like cutting strips that are a quarter inch or an eighth inch this is not the business does anyone else have this saw? What are your thoughts? I did it. I got a replacement table saw. This is the Skill 10 inch table saw. I'm about to make my first cut with it. This is a saw with a built in stand and the rack and pinion uh, table. So here. You just move that lever and it goes to where you want it. Uh, I can show you better than I can tell you. I just wanted to show my first cut with this. I have a, you can see that bucket under there. That's for my dust collection because it has a guided dust collection port. So we'll see how this compares to the Harbor Freight 10 inch warrior saw.
Yes. Yes. It's my favorite. Um, oh my gosh. It cut so smoothly. Um, I'm not folding the stand back in, but if I was going to fold it in, these, the blade guard and the paws on the back, both just store up under here. There's a dust chute that I did not have positioned properly, so I did get some dust all over the floor. So I'll be cleaning that up, but my initial impressions of this saw is this is my new best friend. It is so awesome. The miter slots are the right size, so I'm going to be able to either make a miter slip or buy a feather board, which I wanted because... Yeah, I just want the kind that is no hassle. I want one of those hedgehog feather blades. So I'm going to show you the miter slots real quick. And then I will get out of here. So just look at how beautiful, beautifully big these miter slots are. I really like the on and off switch. Because if you want to turn it off, you just bam, hit that. It's supposed to have an anti-restart on it. There's the storage for the push stick. Everything's great in my limited opinion. But compared to the Harbor Freight 10 inch salt, there is no comparison, guys. I just, this was 350 and it was worth every penny of it. So those are my thoughts. My recommendation is don't try it. Do not pass go with the Harbor Freight table saw. If you're a beginner, just wait till you have the money saved up. If money is an issue and uh, get a table saw that has all the safety features and isn't limited in the size of the miter gauge or the miter slots, um, something that you are going to have to kind of tinker with. To make any more safety adjustments like building a sled for yourself does anyone else have this table saw let me know what you think but skill 10 inch that's the way to go baby